I'm Rick and welcome back to the second day of the Mustang uh, carpet replacement project. Uh, right now what I need to do is a little bit more cleanup of the uh, uh, the floor pan. Uh, there was the underlayment that a lot of it has stuck onto the um, onto the metal. So what I'm going to do, let me put my safety glasses on and also glasses that I can see. I'm going to use a the tool that you usually use to get the pins out, uh, the trim pins, and I'm just going to scrape away uh, using the plastic that will prevent doing any additional damage to the, uh, to the floor, plan, uh, floor pan, thank you very much, and then I've got uh, a wire brush uh, made out of brass and a brush just to get the edges. Then I'll vacuum things out and then I will be laying the uh, the sound deadening material and I'll show you that. Uh, right now it's actually sitting out in the sun. That's probably why I'm really bright right now. I've got the uh, the garage door open uh, since it is a beautiful day on this uh, Corona occasion. Uh, I'm I forgot how many days I'm in self-isolation now. I think actually I'm going into my fourth week. Uh, unfortunately my daughter works at a medical clinic and she got exposed to two people who tested positive so of course living at our home uh, she could have passed something off to us so we're in voluntary isolation right now feel fine but you know it is what it is and uh, I'm taking advantage of it trying to get some projects done uh, so with that let me uh, get out of the way and show you what it looks like right now and uh, from there we're going to do a little bit of time lapse and see how things look when we're all done. Okay, well, I think I got all the floor pans uh, done. And again, this trim and pin removal tool just really does the trick. Uh, this got into the edges really nice. And uh, this did the flat spots and some of the sides. Uh, now comes vacuuming it all up. I'm going to kill the microphone. Hopefully uh, you won't be hearing any of this as I vacuum. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too bad. Uh, got everything vacuumed up. I'm going to do the other side now. And then from there, wait a little bit for my stuff to heat up in the sun. That way it's a little bit more pliable and the adhesive uh, is a little bit better. Uh, and then we're going to start insulating. And uh, then will come the rug after that, which is going to be the tricky part. <sighs> okay, so onward and upward. And we're back. Uh, so everything is all cleaned out and it looks like we've got a halfway decent uh, surface to adhere the insulation. So what do we need for this uh, part of the installation? Well, let's see. First thing we need, of course, is the uh, sound insulation that has an adhesive on one side and the foil on the other. Next, we're going to need some rollers. We have the large roller, the medium roller, and the narrow roller for those tight corners. Now that we have all the tools, let's get started and lay this puppy out. What I'm going to try to do is approximate where a piece will go, put it in, and then work my way around. Let's start. I've laid the first piece down, and what I find interesting about the roller with the grooves is it leaves marks in the tinfoil. This way you can see where you have and have not rolled. Alrighty, just take a look down there and you'll see that the sound padding is going in pretty quickly. Every couple seconds you'll see that it changes, and then we will be coming to the end. Uh, at this point, we're going to cut this video, and then we're going to continue on with the next video. So we'll catch you soon.